How's it going everyone? Hobby Biology reporting long overdue for a haircut though. You know what? That's alright. We're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. I hope you're all doing well though. I just wanted to make a video today talking about my toad, Yabi. Uh, he's in the hallway over there and we're gonna go get him in a minute. But I just wanted to talk about some things, especially one really big thing. First piece of information, let me tell you. Uh, I lied to you guys. Uh, at first I thought he was an American toad and that was when I made the video, but I'm looking at him now and it's, I think it's a Fowler toad, uh, but they're both really similar and the guidelines for them are still the same thing. And they've even been known to even like crossbreed and hybridize. I'm not saying that's what uh, mine is, but they're very similar as you can tell. So it's hard to kind of identify them, at least for me, because I'm new to it, but it do not matter. Either way, I'm gonna go scoop him right now and bring him right here. We're gonna talk about him. I'll give you some tips that I've experienced from taking care of him. And I'm gonna talk about what I'm gonna be doing today in his cage and why we're taking him out. So I'm gonna go do that. And there he is, Mr. Yabby. In other news, the roach I put in there is still alive and I had to pull him out. All right, so here we are. We got Yabby contained in this. Look at him. How you doing, little guy? I'm really sorry about this, but I think you'll feel a little happier in the long run. Here's Yabby. I could tell he's a Fowler Toad now because he hasn't, he's grown a, a little bit since we got him but definitely not to the size of like an American toad, but he's definitely going to get a little bigger. Oh, help a little bit. I can't let you out though, dog. He, he, yeah, he really wants out. No. Yeah, he's an active little guy. Uh, I'd say he's pretty goofy overall too. Uh, he's always looking to get out. He's always climbing up the glass of the terrarium, always trying to get to the light. They're just very active little guys, as you could tell. These guys aren't too demanding when it comes to temperature and humidity. Uh, I really need a thermostat in there because it's a crime that I don't have one. But overall, I keep it a pretty moderate temperature. I try and keep it underneath 65 degrees Fahrenheit, but also hotter than 50. In humidity, I give him just about what I would expect in the atmosphere up here from upstate New York. I miss him every one to two days and then uh, I give him some dry spells if I think it's getting too damp in there after a couple days. When it comes to feeding Yabi, I just give him fruit flies for the most part because he really likes being able to just sit at this little tray with berries and he just picks off the fruit flies. Every couple days I'll give him a, a, a cricket. I try feeding him from the tongs, but he's a little hesitant sometimes, so I just drop it in and he hunts it down. And sometimes he doesn't though, which is what I'm gonna do today is clean out his terrarium. There's probably some dead bugs in there. Uh, probably a lot of poop and just just a lot of gross stuff in the soil that I think could use a little refreshing. For the most part though, when he's not waiting by his food dish, he likes to hide under his log or he'll be sitting in his little pool all the way in the back. That's also where he likes to use the bathroom. So I gotta, I gotta replace that water every couple days. He's getting really impatient, so I don't wanna keep him waiting any longer, this poor guy. Let's get to work on freshening up the terrarium. First, I started with all his decor and shelter. I just lightly hosed everything and dried it with a blow dryer, but the fake plant had poop stains on it, and I had to clean it off myself. As you could tell, the dirt is dirty. It doesn't look fresh. A little hickory tussock caterpillar stopped by. I don't want to just dump the dirt on the lawn here. So I'm going to bring it all the way over there. So let's go. I removed a moderate amount of old dirt and I added a generous amount of fresh soil. I mixed it up so it was fairly distributed. I brought it back inside and put in the decor, but I struggled to put everything back exactly how it was. 
but I think this looks better in the end. I added moss periodically as I progressed. And of course I returned his Yoshi Egg Rock. I was pleased with how it came out. It looked a lot greener and it smelled better. The soil looked darker and I think this moss would stay alive longer than the old moss did. Alright Yabby, you're going back to your, your home. It's a little different. Changed a couple of things but overall I think it's better, fresher. I think he even has a little more room if you ask me. You're going the wrong way. Go. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna pluck him out of here. Come on. No. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess that doesn't. And while I'm here, I'm going to give him fruit flies. He's not very happy with the current situation. After I finished with Yabi, I saw the pickerel frog needed a water change. I wanted to show you guys just one of the chores that I do almost every day. I use a siphon tube, but thankfully there's not a lot of water in this tank. I use spring water when it comes to water in terrariums. I gave her fruit flies even though these guys don't hunt smaller bugs with their tongues like other frogs do, but it'll hold her off for now until I could give her a cricket since I gotta keep a schedule. Yabi is doing well already on the hunt. And the newts are due for chopped up worms, but I don't want to show that on video. And that just about wraps it up for this video. It's been a few days and Yabi is happy and healthy as you can tell. So hopefully that puts some of the people in the comments to ease. But let me know if you have any thoughts or questions. I'm going to be gone on vacation for a week so there might be a gap in content. But I gotta say thank you all for the feedback on my last toad video. I hope this one does just as good. See you guys in the next video.